Hey, what's up, guys? He's out here working on my uh, Range Rover um, 5.0 liter. Land Rover Jaguar um, has the same same type of setup. This is the old uh, old adjuster. This is the new adjuster. Look at the manual. They will tell you to pull this pin out and let it extend all the way and shove it back in. Um, and I'll kind of show you what I'm talking about. I'll show you something I found out here. So here's the instructions here. It says make sure the tensioner piston is fully extended, then depress and lock the tensioner piston with the grenade pin before installation. Try to do this what may result in damage to the engine. Okay. Now let's show you something that I found out. On this newer style, if you press it all the way in with a C clamp, this is just one I got from uh, from AutoZone here. If you press this all the way in with the C-clamp, it doesn't extend like it should, it doesn't spring out. And the whole idea here is, is that this is some type of ratcheting mechanism. You push down and it holds it out. That way the hydraulic portion of it can only take up a small amount and that way you won't have to fill this whole thing up with, uh, with oil and it take up the slack. So, but like I said, the problem is if you don't press this all the way in, it will not rash it out and you'll have a lot of slack in your timing chain when you put it back together. So what I did was I used a C-clamp, pushed all the way down as far as I could, and then when you pull the pin out, it extends about to here where my thumb is. It should be out to here. So what I found out is you have to press this in very hard, actually deeper than this pocket here. And you'll hear a pretty good click, like a snap in there. And when that happens, this will reset itself and extend all the way back out to here when you pull this pin out. So when you put these in, make sure that you pull these pins out and it gets tension on these chains. And there should have you shouldn't have any um, any ten, or any uh, slack in these chains when you when you push it up. That spring should take up all the slack that you have initially, and the oil pressure just holds that tension on there. And I hope this helps. Good luck, guys.